On this topic now here in our state, unfortunately, there's a heavy history and a dark history at times when it comes to racial equality. News 19's Emily Carell shows us how that is reflected through voting laws that once not too long ago were still on the books. The best place to start when you're looking for voting rights are with the South Carolina constitutions. The South Carolina Department of Archives in Columbia has all seven original constitutions the Palmetto State has operated under. In the two most recent constitutions, you can read where voting laws were laid out. Again, these are the original constitutions that were approved in conventions um, 1868. So we're going to turn over uh, to Article 8. Here it is, the right of suffrage. Then Article 8, Section 2 lays out uh, who is eligible to vote in South Carolina in 1868. And I guess the key phrase in this one is that um, every male citizen of the United States at the age 21 years and upward, without distinction of race, color, or former condition, are eligible to vote in South Carolina. 31 years later in 1895, the seventh state constitution put restrictions on who could vote. He can both read and write any section of the constitution submitted to him by the registration officer, or that he can, uh, if it's read to him, that he can interpret that provision to the satisfaction of the registration officer, or that he owns and has paid taxes collectible during the previous year in the state assessed at $300 or more. So those are both qualifications that were put in to essentially disfranchise African American males from voting. The state remains under the 1895 Constitution today. The discriminatory suffrage laws in it remained in place for 70 years until the Federal Voting Rights Act of 1965 made racially discriminatory election practices illegal. Lewis Burke is a professor of law at the University of South Carolina who has studied civil rights in the state and has written numerous books, articles, and essays on the subject. The eight box law was one thing they tried, which was that you had to put your ballot for each office in a separate box. So you had to be able to read what a box was for. If you weren't, couldn't read, you had to ask for help. And of course, the white poll managers weren't going to help black voters. I think we need to make sure that we are making voting easy and accessible. Those are the, you know, why does voting have to be difficult? I'm Emily Carell, News 19 WLTX. All right, there's